Hey guys, it's Cage again. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, I had my job on, I know. Um, and real quick, too, uh, I had a question why I caught the javelin. Just because of how I hold it, how it looks, I think it looks like a javelin. I think if you took it right now and tried to throw it, it would act like that, so, enough said. Alright, so, um, I told you I would be doing it, and I'm doing it right now. Doing mock, okay? It is a style that is like Form Zero, but unlike Form Zero, very aggressive. Okay? <clears throat> we can have any fighting style we want, you know, battling-wise, with our sabers here. But what about psychological warfare? You're like, probably like, like um, what, what? Psychological warfare. That's what Dune Mach is, okay? It is a way for us, for Sith, to go in and go, hey, um, I'm going to dominate this, so this is what we're going to do. Now, Sith has very Sith are very notorious at being patient and planning things out, very methodical, okay? <clears throat> Let's see here. Uh, one, of, one of which, a uh, great example, is Darth Sidious, Order 66. That was a form of Dune Mach, okay? Um, by, by flipping the people's outlook on the Jedi, that the Jedi are the bad guys, flipping the idea on them like that, okay? Now, um, when that happened, that really, uh, stuck the Jedi, uh, not just in numbers, but mentally. I mean, Yoda went into exile, so the Obi-Wan Kenobi, you know, so, I mean, of course they didn't want to be out in public or else they'd die, but still... It was also doing mock, you know. So, um, now, um, another thing is about doing mock is uh, that you probably don't see, but you've probably seen it, but you don't realize it. Um, and the battle with Count Dooku versus Obi Wan in Episode Two. It's a quick battle, but uh, he tells uh, Obi Wan that Yoda had him in high esteem and that uh, he is disappointing him, you know. Well, this right here is a former Dumak that is known as a taunt, jeer, jest, whatever you have to call it. And <clears throat> this is just taking someone's inner uh, weaknesses and, like, drawing them out, you know, making them second guess and doubt themselves. Okay, so if I were to right now, if I was battling someone and, let's see here, Let's say I knew they had some sort of a uh, uh, bad leg or something, you know. I'd be like, are you sure that leg of yours is going to hold up, you know, or something like that. Something to make them second guess things, you know. And I'm not uh, doing it uh, out of because everyone, uh, I'm not doing it out of a... Uh, Oh, I don't even know what I'm trying to say. But anyways, I'm doing it so I can win, period. That's all I'm doing it for. Okay? Uh, not doing it out of concern is what I'm trying to think of. I'm doing it just to win. Okay? I know the person's got a bad leg. I'm going to emphasize on that. Okay? Now, um, psychological warfare doesn't have to be just verbal. It's also very physical. Me, I am a very strong upper body kind of guy and if I attack someone you know hard as I can uh, of course the they're going to see the difference in the strengths between us so and if I'm more consecutive with my attacks okay uh, the more consecutive more powerful and I keep going with this and I emphasize each time this is going to be psychological warfare as well because then they're like okay this guy's pretty good you know, and they're going to start second-guessing, like, okay, am I good enough that you're actually battling this guy and all this? And that's what Sith want to do. They want to dominate. They want to make people second-guess and everything. Um, <clears throat> that's why we use it, you know. Um, now, um, there is a thing called uh, too much of it or the wrong thing. And that's what happens with the boomerang effect, okay? The boomerang effect, you have to watch what you say. Not that, don't say nothing too mean, but don't 
emphasize on certain areas. Um, perfect example, Count Dooku versus Anakin. Count Dooku emphasized on his fear of loneliness, losing his mother, and uh, losing his loved ones, you know. He emphasized on this stuff, and it sent Anakin into a rage and a frenzy, okay? Which ended up Count Dooku lo losing two times, okay? And if you remember, on episode uh, three, you remember, he, he went pretty, he was pretty mad, and uh, he wasn't going to strike him down at first, but, you know, still, you saw the anger, you know what I mean? And, and that's where uh, some Sith fall onto their uh, own asses, needless to say. If you, uh, if you go about and you sit there and you say something like, um, okay, here's, here's the wrong thing to say, okay? You know someone, they had a funeral of a parent, loved one or something, and you tell them, too bad they're not here to see it. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. You just sent them into a rage, a really bad rage. So you need to watch what you say because we want to plan things out, okay? But if we point out someone's mistakes, their weaknesses, okay, we can do that. So, like, um, let's see here. It doesn't necessarily have to be about saber fighting, okay? Let's say that um, someone went to rehab, okay? And it was for, I don't know, meth, drugs, uh, drinking, who cares? And you're battling them, and you remind them of that situation. You remind them that that was such a bad mistake, you know. They're going to sit there, and they're going to uh, kind of reminisce about that, and they don't want to, and they're like, oh, crap, you know. And this is going to diminish their spirit. This is what Sith do. We take something and we give it on a platter full of crap, okay, and say, here, eat it, okay? So, um, now, um, there are many things you can do with uh, Dune Mach while saber fighting, not just, you know, emphasizing on your strengths and the other person's weaknesses. Uh, Dune Mach can also be very, very well planned out, okay? Uh, there have been, uh, if you read the books, there have been some Sith that actually have uh, gone and done this and um, said something like, um, oh, hey, um, by the way, just so you know, um, the Jedi killed your master. All right? Now, for most Sith, this ain't going to be, you know, very, uh, so who cares? But... For a Jedi, if you go off and say, as if the Lord had killed your master, you told him where it was, the color lightsaber they had, and they don't know you're a Sith, okay? They just think you're another Jedi. Woo, yeah, they're going to go there in a hit and rage, okay? That's another form of Dune Mach, okay? Like I said, Darth Sidious in Order 66, that was a form of Dorn, uh, Dune Mach. That was a form of it, okay? Planning something out that's going to have a largely effect on your um, uh, opponent is what's going to uh, be considered Dune Mach, okay? Very strategic, very psychological, okay? Um, and the biggest thing about this is, is that there, you have to be very patient, okay? Uh, Darth Sidious, it took years for his plan to take full fruit, okay? And uh, even uh, uh, Darth Bane and all them, their planning, their battles, it would take them so long. You have to have your patience with this. And then once that opening comes, you'll see it and you'll know it. And boom, there it is. All right? Just like um, Darth Sidious, he saw his opening. He had Anakin Skywalker. He knew he was going to be a powerful Sith. He's like, okay, they trust you. They don't know you're a Sith yet. Go kill all the younglings and kill soft some Jedi as you're as you're uh, going there. And then as that's happening, Order sixty six goes. See what I'm saying? So it's gonna really, really greatly, you know, uh, help out uh, as a Sith. Um. Now, um, 
with Dune Mock, there is not always, but some occurrences where Jedi have used this. This is actually a forbidden technique for Jedi. Jedi are not allowed to use this. Okay? But there have been in some situations that were not normal that they have used it. Okay? Um, but there was a thing like inverse uh, Dune Mock that Jedi use. And this is not so much insulting, more as just calling bluffs, things of that nature, um, or creating a bluff even. Um, and there are some that are even uh, very psychological. A uh, great example, Luke Skywalker. He tells Darth Vader, he goes, I can sense the good in you. All right, you can come back. All right. That's an inverse Dune Mock. That's very psychological. That's going to make Darth Vader really sit there and think. Um, and, you know, just all types of stuff can go with this, you guys, okay? I mean, you can go and battle someone and start taunting them, pointing out weaknesses, pointing out mistakes, anything. Uh, and this is what, uh, what Dune Mock is all about, and that's what it's going to win, okay? Now, with Dune Mock, like I said, the boomerang effect is something to watch out for. If you know it's going to push their button the right way, they are going to get angry. Don't do it. Be patient about it. Tire them out, okay? Me, I can go for a very long time in a very long heated battle if I need to. Okay? Now, I have gone into choreography battles. You know, I have done regular battles. Regular ones are very, very short, depending. Excuse me, depending on the users. I've seen them last from anywhere between. Um, if it depends on if you're doing a point system, but if you're going for a one hit, they can go anywhere. I've seen between 15 seconds to, you know, like five, ten minutes. So I mean, it just depends. That choreography battles I've seen go up all the way up to 20 to 30 minutes. You know, so um, and that's with a lot of work. So it just depends what kind of battle you choose doing. Um, if you want to use Dune Mock, use it uh, very, very lightly. Not too much. Like I said, you don't want the boomerang effect. Uh, and don't put enough anger into someone that they're going to come at you very angrily. Now, um, choreography, you can use Dune Mock, but obviously it's not going to affect the person. You know what I mean? It's choreography battle, so... Now, that does depend, though, okay? Are you going to switch this choreography battle to a real battle at the end? I have seen people do that. Basically, what happens is that it's a choreography battle, and then at the very last second, someone, they don't decide who wins. They just go ahead, and they just have a regular old battle, and boom, someone wins, okay? So it just depends on what you're going to do, okay? But, yeah, Dune Mock is very, very psychological. Uh, you have to be very patient to do. And it's very, very thought out, very strategic stuff, okay? So you just need to um, really think about things, plan it out a little bit, make sure you're doing things right. Don't second guess yourself, make them second guess themselves. So, um, but yeah, so um, I hope you all enjoy that. That's basically it for Dune Mock. Um, Got anything else to say about it? Let me know.